Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here. DJI Spark, I know, it's one of the best drones out there when it comes to a selfie drone and a drone that can do aerial filming at the same time. However, to many out there, that is an expensive quadcopter to afford. So I'm actually looking around these days to find alternatives to DJI Spark to find one selfie drone that is affordable and it delivers as good performance as the DJI Spark. If not as good as DJI Spark, at least it is worth the pennies that you pay for it. Now as I'm searching, my search brought me to this one sitting here. This is a Sunli Alpha Came 4K Wi-Fi controlled selfie quadcopter. Of course, looking at the picture, the first thing that you will notice, it does not have a stabilized gimbal. So DJI Spark is a still one step ahead here because it has a stabilized that is mechanically stabilized gimbal and camera. Anyway, this one has a 4K camera and 3-axis digital stabilization or digital image stabilization. That's what the Alpha Cam here from Sunly is offering. All right, so here we go. This is how it came inside the box. I mean. Wow, check it out. This neat white carrying case. I am simply loving the carrying case. I don't want to see what's inside at the moment, but the case is amazing. So we can open the case and take a look inside. Check it out. This is how it's packed inside. Wow, two batteries, propeller guards. Man, this is some nice looking quadcopter here. Mmm, yes, very, very lightweight. That's what the box was saying. Very lightweight quadcopter. And actually, company is claiming 20 minutes of flight times. Check it out. This is the bottom of the quad quadcopter. We can see the ultrasonic and optical flow sensors on the bottom. And we have a battery compartment at the backside. Very soft landing legs. Okay, so shock absorbing, shock absorbing landing legs right here beautiful color scheme white and light green lime type of color beautiful propellers white color are matching and brushless motors these are really tiny brushless motors okay so this was the quadcopter now we have two batteries these are 7.6 volt 2000 milliamp 15.2 wh batteries and company claims that using one of these will fly uh, this quadcopter will fly 20 minutes. Well, we will put it to test very, very soon, of course, tomorrow morning. Then we have the propeller guards. Awesome. Should you want to fly indoors, you should use propeller guards. But anyway, the quadcopter has uh, optical sensors, optical flow sensors, and also ultrasonic sensors for holding the position indoors without GPS. All right, the next thing we have, of course, are the accessories as described on the box. You have a wall outlet, USB plug. Okay, then you have a power cable for the for charging the batteries and you have this cable uh, USB cable as well. I hope it has a built-in memory because you don't want to transfer 4k memories uh, 4k videos that high resolution to your phone directly over Wi-Fi. Okay, then in this box we have a little spanner should you want to remove your propellers you can remove using this you can hold the motor and remove the propellers and we have one set of extra blades. Installing the propeller guard is very simple you just have to uh, push them up okay just like this one two I just want to put them on set so that we can see the size of this quadcopter after the propeller guards are added three and four so after the propeller guards are added okay so after the propeller guards are added this is the size of the quadcopter comparing with DJI Spark this is your DJI Spark uh, propellers are unfolded okay and these are both quadcopters right here of course with propeller guards all quadcopters become big so now we can compare the size and you can see that it is much small uh, compared to DJI Spark
you have seen the features of this quadcopter, the Alpha Cam 4K, and seriously, these are impressive features. I can't believe that until I actually fly it. Alright, so I found the Sunfly app on Google Play Store and bam, download it. Right here we have the Sunfly Alpha Cam. Okay, open. And now I have to enter the device. That means I have to turn the Wi Fi on. And um, 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 where do we have Alpha Cam? Right here. Okay, password Sunly Tech. Okay, the password is Sunly Tech. All right, S U N. Done. We are connected. And enter device. It says before the flight, please check the drone components are normal. If the propellers and the blades are okay, safety tips very, very good, very, very nice. Uh, keep distance, and I'm that close to the quadcopter right here. GPS positioning mode do not fly in a space narrow or under. Okay, well, I would suggest you go through these safety tips, very, very good. And then we have the interface introduction. Um, you can go for the introduction, but I would like to close it. And it says camera connecting. There we are. Wow, check it out. I mean, I'm used to getting some really crappy footage uh, <laughs> with the cameras of uh, toy grid quadcopters. But here, check it out. I mean, how crispy, clear footage this camera is transmitting. And basically speaking, and basically speaking, I don't see much latency either. I mean, there is latency, and basically there is latency, but not that much actually. Awesome. You want to see me? Yes, that's me. What's up, man? Press and hold the button and you will turn the quadcopter off. It will say disconnected. Please come near to Alpha Cam. No, no, I don't want to come near to Alpha Cam. I have closed it. So now I'm holding the quadcopter in my hand and while I move around, you can see how stable the image quality is. I mean, the video is really, really stable. Hey, what's up once again? Yes. So basically that is the three axis uh, digital stabilization or image processing going on in there. Now if you can look at my computer right here and you can look at the quadcopter as well you see I'm holding and moving the quad left and right but the image does not move image stays there. So just to continue this segment yes the image quality seems really really nice and promising so far indoors. I even tried it uh, when it's getting dark. The camera gets very nice and clear pictures and also gets very clear video. You have seen it right here on my phone. Now, the next thing we need to do is bring it out tomorrow morning. I plan to go out early in the morning and I hope there's no sandstorm. I'll check the uh, weather reports and wind conditions here in Dubai for early morning. And I'll bring it out tomorrow early morning and we will give it a flight right away and we will put all the claims to the test. We will put all those impressive features to the test and see if this quadcopter is going to impress us or not. Well, they are actually saying that this is your personal photographer from another horizon. So we will put all these statements and all these claims to test. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.